Shadow of Judgment. Oh, that's from Hey Arnold. Oh my god, I'm going to get like demonetized on this video. That's cool. Thanks, music people, for putting like children's shows in the thing. That was cool though, I gotta admit. Anyway, welcome to Shadow Judgment. I'm just sitting here losing my stuff for no reason. Yes. Don't mind the smoke, it's my incense. It's just doing whatever it does. Who are we reading for? Earth Signs, you're up and you're working on some shit. Yeah. Anyway. I hope y'all are doing lovely. This is Shadow Judgment. Sorry I missed it yesterday. I'm an airhead. And I thought, I totally thought today was Friday, but my week has been so screwed up as of late. It's been insane. It has been an insane three weeks, but that's going to be talked about much later. I promise. On a more personal scale, of course. Anyway, Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is all the way to... The 11th, because today is the 5th. It's the 11th. So, from now until the 11th, Earth Signs. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Cross watcher, switch where you need to, and just boop your nose the way it goes. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. All right. Taurus, we got for you. Um, there might be not much love and someone does, doesn't want to be single. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. You've been having weird ones lately, Taurus. Queen of Wands. Three I'm trying to get the picture, sorry. Ace of Swords. Upright. Mm. Oh, that one went away. I wonder what that's about. It went that far? Far, far away, there might be a Queen of Cups involved. Right? Right. Ew, you have a lot of fucking pentacles, Taurus, I have to say. La Aces. What are what's uh, what is con well two of them were reversed, so we already know that nothing's coming from that, right? Those are just blah 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 blah. Just you know. But you are keeping your guard for some reason, Taurus. Now let's see. You got the ace of cups and but it's like there's no love somewhere, there's no new beginning. But it's like somebody's waiting on like a water side and cancer Scorpio Pisces, right? Or maybe there's an apology that's not coming someone's waiting on from a water sign. But they're at a crosswoods with that. Because, like, this Queen of Wands is all pissed off. She's impatient. She wants to fight. She wants to take a leap of faith in order to get away from this devil energy. Possibly Capricorn involved as well. Uh, also, Leo Sag, Aries, too. Something enraptured your mind with this. This is why you're at a crossroads. Um... It, there might be a thing where you don't want to be single or you don't want to be broke and something's crossed your mind that's made you understand that you need to go for the fucking door because whatever be business venture there could be that a, would be a potential would be stuck in your head for a while. It would bother you very greatly, I feel like. Either an investment's bad or some shit. Oh, that's the wrong deck. My bad. Okay. So let's see. Um, let's just lay them out because I don't know which one to ask on. Oh, you want to be embraced You're with the partner, right? You want to have communication as well with the star. Aquarius' card, just because you can't let it go. It's like, I love this person much too greatly, but it's like they almost see themselves as a servant. Reminder, cross watcher switch where you need it. Right? And someone's gotta come for some secrets. Mmm. You could easily have been the servant boy, Taurus, I feel like. You might be the one trying to pour out your cup. 
and it not happen. It just keeps pouring back up because, you know, it's reversed and that's how gravity works so for some fucking reason. You know? This person might have treated you like a dog and you want to know some things. That's why you want to communicate, but you also miss them greatly. I think you like them a lot, uh, but I'm not sure if you're waiting for this, um, come here, this water sign to finally open the cup either. Maybe there's no love here or you're waiting for there to be an expression of love and they're just keeping their emotions to themselves for one reason or another. And that's why you're possibly at a crossroads. Like how long are you going to wait for one person to, um, finally act like they give a shit? Or want to at least open up to you. Like, you don't want to be stuck on somebody who can't give you what you need, which is something more open. Um, something that will help you express how you feel and how they express how they feel towards you, you know. The beauty of it all. But, that's all on you. That's yours, Taurus, for the week. So, look out for that. Virgo! What you doing, my people? Yeah, you play that jazz. Oh, well, I just... That's fucked. I just said that and stopped. I was getting into that one. <laughs> Alright, Virgo. What is your shadow this week? Oh, well, there's some. Um, someone's sneaking. Someone's sneaking. Someone's... Uh, someone's trying to sneak away from some fucking conflicts. <laughs> from some bitches? Females, women arguing, you know, I, like that. This that it's never come up for me before. Okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah. It's like there's a judgment call here, and it's like it's time to go, bitch. <laughs> um, because it might just end up stabbing you in the back more than it would anybody else. I feel like there's. I don't even feel like anyone is trying to end the conflict as much as they are just engaging in it, you know? You're trying to escape and close that fucking door. Just be like, nope, 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 nope. Mmm. Like, I am not listening to people's feelings. God damn. Mmm, but it's definitely got you worried about how you'll feel, right? Mmm. Let's see. Dut. 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 Mmm. What is going on, Virgo? Let's see, Virgo. There is like. You have a. Um, I feel like you're trying to sneak away in order to close the door, in order to start some new kind of world where you can open communication and be calm and settled and pretty. You know, you just want to be pr you want to be pretty. You don't want to like deal with shit. You want calm. You want peace. You want serenity a little bit. This could also be a Taurus, an Aries, or a Libra. The Venus energies, right? Um, now, there was possibly a judgment call that I feel like nothing would change in whatever environment or um, weird-ass bizarre you've gotten yourself into this time, I feel like. Like, something to do with business, maybe even a family function of some sort. And it's like something you don't want to offer to anymore, because I feel like this is you too. However, I don't think this is an end to conflict as much as it is the conflict getting worse and it's starting to bother you, make you regret even um, being part of it. And that's kind of the right judgment call with why you don't want to offer to this shit anymore. Let's see. Yeah, you, I think you just want to walk away. I think you're just at that point where it's just like, you know what? I don't mind sleeping on boxes. <laughs> It's cool. I'll just go on a magical adventure, you know. You want to take a leap of faith. You know, trick some people. Um, possibly go for one, make... Either you're make, Either someone's trying to make a peace offering to you. 
Like someone might give you something. Vice versa with cross watchers, of course. But you're not giving them shit. Hmm. Virgo, I think that like... Okay, if this was a job, right? You're ready to walk. You're ready to start something new. Like, other people don't see what you're doing, but there's a ledge underneath of there, and that's why you're not worried to hang off this cliff and sniff this flower, right? I think you see something everybody else doesn't see below you. And this might be you turning in your resume, your resignation letter. And this dude's taking it, but he's not offering you anything back. And, and, and it's almost like, um... It almost gives a change in you to where you want to take some action. Shoot your rifle off. Just be like, okay, like we're going to go do something then, you know? We're going to see where we can be helpful somewhere and actually be appreciated, I feel like. That's your week so far. Virgo. Capricorn, up to you. Let's see what's going on in your week. Also mad because I'm a Capricorn sun. Even though in the Vedic I would be a Sagittarius, but I've been a Capricorn too long. I'm not changing my ways now. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not doing that. <laughs> we are definitely not doing that today. No, no, no. Anyway, you are coming out of some bad mentalities, my dears. Cool. You might not be happy or you have a Leo around you that's not happy. One of the two. I don't know. Take your pick, honestly. But there is, okay, this, this feels like end of conflict, because at least it's not starting at the very beginning. Hmm. Some things that you might have regretted, you're trying to get over it. Um, the sun, you might not have been happy, might have been a little crazy, or this is just Leo who's lost her shit and just is not being logical whatsoever. Then the conflict comes from, like, talking to some higher up or, like, appealing to a higher authority in a position. You are, you feel like you were left out in the cold. This person's keeping their feelings to themselves. I feel like nothing's being offered to you either. Mm. A few other cards dropped, but I don't... No, they're not part of this. Okay. Capricorn. Hmm. This one is, uh... Give me a second. Either you or your cross-watcher are coming out of some nasty mentality where you were trying to get over some bad events and come out of the cold. Something of which you've been keeping secret or intuitively you worked your way out of, right? It brought the end to some conflict. But it also involves someone above you who didn't offer dick or caused you not to offer anything to this um, or didn't offer something to either your intuition or what you kept secret. It's like they didn't offer you anything or it didn't leave you with anything. And that, and that brought out some kind of truth in the situation, right? Where you were unhappy you're fucking crazy, but you're possibly keeping your emotions in check. And it's almost like without this offering, this it, it kind of knowledge wouldn't to come out. Like a lot of the shit that I feel like some of you went through, you've kept back a lot because you did come out of all this mentality through all of this shit. Two fives, right? You, you came out of that. And then we also have the um, Hierophant, which is a third five, right? So it's like he might be attached to these two things right here. This um, five of pentacles where you felt left out in the cold and the five of cups where like you were dealing with some grief and trying to get over that shit, right? 
And maybe this dude could have brought you the Six Pentacle, but he didn't. That would have brought some balance, but that never fucking happened. And there's some truth acknowledged in that. However, this could also be a Leo who has lost their shit. Not thinking logically when it comes to their emotions, when they're keeping stuff to themselves, but there's some truth here that's keeping that shit at bay. I also feel like too a little bit, but it doesn't have to be. I feel like like it's more like you were unhappy. This has left you with like a lot of um I feel like it drove you crazy a little bit, but you kept that shit in check, you know? The nine of uh, pentacles popped up for a second, so like you got to the point where you were happy again. Shit got buried. At the crossroads, someone actually helped you. I helped you, like, hmm. At a crossroads, it was like, something was given to you, but it wasn't by this person. Like something was feeding your spirit. Oh. Was someone not happy about that? Was someone trying to rain on your damn parade? Well, fuck them. Bitches. <laughs> Jesus Christ, people. What the fuck? Okay, that... That, that makes... A ridiculous amount of sense, okay? So look it right. What I'm getting here is, like, you had to bury the fact that you were kept at a crossroads by somebody who is pulling off your happiness, because we have the sun reverse here twice, you know, could also involve a Gemini in this instance as well. But it's like someone was purposely tugging on your flag of happiness, trying to tear it off. But then, like, sitting there... Blind as a fucking bat expecting you to fight somebody else for Lord knows whatever fucking reason. You know, I don't know where that comes from. And like over here is this Queen of Wands who's just chilling. She's got her lizard and she's got a kitty and the kitty is coming up telling her secrets and shit. Which I'm not sure what that is. It's like she's getting gossip about the latest shit that's happened with the local whore in town. You know, one of those things, right? Baby girl done lost her teeth again at the Mountaineer Mart. <laughs> trying to deck a motherfucker because he, oh, he owed her another like two dollars and she wanted a cheeseburger not a burrito anyway uh, that's what it feels like it feels like um, it's like this person was pulling at you bothering the fuck out of you to try to get you to turn around but fight other people like, they would just be like, hey, motherfucker, and then they take a seat and close their eyes and be like, I didn't do anything. You know, one of those things, and like, they expected other people to jump in for them, too. You know? Because this is red, this is red. You're trying to bury this fucking shit. And look at them, pulling on your stuff, trying to get you to get cloth in your freaking flag, and be like, you will fight new. You know? There, I feel like there is something you're learning, Capricorn. But, actually, you know what? I'm dropping one more. Fuck it. This is my sign. I don't care. What's the kitty saying? What's the kitty telling the Queen of Wands and her lizard? Oh. Someone wants to send a message. Hmm. Someone's thinking about flying that bird. Because the bird, 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 bird. The bird is the word. The word. That's what they want to do. They want to send the bird to send the word. Because the bird sends the word. Mm. Alright, Earth Signs, that's your read. I will see you guys later. You all take it easy. I love your faces. Bye-bye.